Welcome back to Henry's Garage. Uh, we're working on the drop head TR7 and in this episode we're working through refurbing these bits. Today we're going to start working on this stuff. Now I started by getting a quote for a bush kit for the suspension, bush kit for the subframe, a bolt kit for both, and actually new springs and um, dampers, so basically a full spring kit. And um, the cost came back at £750. So we're not doing that. So we're going to work through cleaning up all of these bolts and um, bits and pieces. Um, I've got a tap and die, metric tap and die coming so that I can clean off the threads. We will replace the nuts um, and we'll see then, once we've started working through that, what I actually need to buy and we'll go from there. So that's what we're going to do. It's a slow progress, or pro slow process rather, but I'm um, starting with the sway bar. So I'm definitely missing a bolt and nut for here. Oh, and a um, washer. So we'll have to we'll have to get something for here. But you can see that I've been trying to clean this up compared to what it used to look like. So um, for the most part it will clean up okay. What I'll do is I'll finish cleaning the bar um, and I will paint, I will rust convert um, the bar plus these bits um, which clearly need it. The uh, I don't know what these are called but these I won't bother with rust converting they just clean up so that's fine. So these won't get painted, these won't, but I will must convert the rest, then we'll get some um, primer and um, base coat on it, black. Um, so we'll probably finish cleaning this one off tomorrow and then look at the next thing to clean up. So today I've been um, cleaning up the rest of the sway bar. These bits are all going to need, I mean they're quite pitted but I think we'll aim to reuse them. We'll paint them up and we'll put a um, rust converter on. Stuff like that. Now I don't know if anyone's going to remember but this wouldn't come off originally. So I have this afternoon been trying to get it off. I tried with bit of heat first to no avail and so I've been cutting through the um, bolt I've got it off on this side and I need to do this side there we are so I got that out um, I cut the head off this side that allowed me to then get the radius arm out and so the problem is, and someone mentioned, I can't remember who, but someone did mention it, and it's that the um, metal sleeve inside the um, inside the bushing, inside the rubber, is, is um, rusted onto the bolt. So that's why it wouldn't come out. Anyway, um, so I cut it the head side, and I've managed to get a little bit of a cut here, which isn't great but I think that should be okay so everything on the subframe will come off now and so um, tomorrow or Friday we will clean that up I've got the arm to clean up the other bit that I haven't been able to get apart as yet um, and this was from the other side let's put the 
the steering rack out of the way. So this is from the other side and I can't get um, this dis unattached, disattached, whatever. Um, it's well and truly stuck in there. I mean, it looks, I don't know if I can hold it steadily enough, but it looks here to me like um, someone's tried cutting it at some point, which doesn't strike me as a good thing. Um, certainly not me, but I, at least not that I remember. Um, but I don't see how cutting it up there would do any good whatsoever. Have I got it in view? Um, there we go. Uh, see, so it looks to me like someone's tried cutting it along there. And I can't see how that would do any good whatsoever. I don't see how that would free it up to come out. Um, I've tried using a ball joint splitter. <coughs> Um, and the problem is, in here, this bit of the ball joint is just too big for the splitter to go over. It's, you know, the, um... This, um, here, the circumference won't go around it. This would be much easier to show you if I, um... Set it up. But there you go, as you can see, it just won't get in there. Well, at least I haven't been able to. And I've tried it several times in different ways and I can't get it past mind you it should it looks like it should so I don't know why it won't then we'll have another go at this quick answer to that is no I can't get I can't get this on it any which way so um I don't know maybe I need a different splitter um or something but I can't get this one to work so we'll have to continue thinking about that um, the other thing I've got to work out how I'm going to do is get the dampers the absorbers out of here so um, I know that um, I think it was um, oh, back to the grind and lawn there, um, I think he cut this bit off and then used a two inch um, ratchet, Ujima Flippy socket on there. Might be the way we have to go. Not sure at this point. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that, but it seems to me I need something which is a has a gap of well six point. Seven nine or whatever, in order to split that. And if we look at, I oh sorry, I need three hands for this. But if we look at this, it has a gap has a gap my thing is well it basically has a gap that's big enough according to this so 6.8 so um, it should fit over <laughs> so I don't know why it doesn't I was hoping I found the solution there oh well um, but it should just squeeze on there We'll have another go at it later. Right, so I've been cleaning this off and I can't really get it much more rust free than this. So I'm going to have to put it in an electrolysis bath, which means I'll probably have to do the same with this and all of this stuff, which is fine. So I'll use the um, wire wheel and stuff 
to get the dirt off and then we'll bathe them and try to get rid of the rest of the rust. Meanwhile I've also been cleaning up the chassis, uh, the subframe. So that's um, coming along, you can see what I have done. The other side still to do, but what I haven't done. And maybe we'll film a bit of this in a time lapse so you can see the process. Mostly I just use that disc there so that's for stripping paint off really but um, it works great for this kind of stuff as well and it doesn't really damage the metal at all. Okay, so we have a relatively clean front frame. Um, it needs more still. I just need—I don't need to get all the paint off. I just need to get all the grease and the grime off, and then um, we'll paint it. But uh, I don't know if I've captured it in the time. I know it's in the time lapse. I don't know if I'll be showing it to you. But there's a part where I had to straighten out this panel here. Um, it, it, bent slightly out of shape. I've just noticed that this is also bent. It's stented in. And I've got to work out how to pull that out a bit. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. To be honest. Um, but I've got to somehow work out a way of getting this to come out just a little bit. Or maybe I don't, maybe I just leave it. Oh, hang on a minute, there we go. It's right here we've got a bit of a den, that's the problem. I don't know I'm going to pull that out. Okay, well actually that work there, I'm going to leave it as, um, this, that's got this same height as that when I look along that plane, so we'll go with that. So a um, bit more work to do on this, trying to get some of this grease off, then we'll hammer it um, with direct rust, which should protect it for a bit longer. I have here my dad's suggestion on how I try to um, separate the bar 
the um, the ball joint. And what he said is rest a thick piece of metal across here. Put the nut on. Have the nut on here. Thick piece of metal. Tighten it up as far as you can to put stress on it. Um, and then try heat and a hammer and see if you can knock it. So we'll go and give it a go. So unfortunately my dad's idea doesn't work because I can't get the bar below the box. But by piling these pieces of metal on I have got it I've got the um, metal pressing up here and then I've got the bolt which I'm tightening into it which hopefully is putting some pressure on there but I think actually all I'm doing is causing it to come up at an angle so It's only got some pressure on it. No. So this gap looks bigger now. Oh, in fact, yes. Yes, it has come off, hasn't it? I wonder if it came off before I did any of that, but yeah, this is definitely loose. Put the gloves on before I forget that this is hot. Ha ha! Success! You're a superstar, Mr. Mator! There we go. Right, I just have to work out how to fix this now. Good. Oh, a success. I'm quite happy with that. 
And then look, sure what I've got here and all of this stuff. So I've clearly got a bit of seal here, but I've got this as well. So, you know, I can clean this out and put in another boot on here. But I don't know what some of these bits are. So we'll have to do some investigation, but that's good. We got that apart. I'm pleased about that. So, thank you, Dad. Okay, a little bit of an update. So the subframe's all been painted up, Just a couple of coats. Those are both cleaned, the radius arms, and they're ready for paint. They're going to get hammer right, so we'll all tape them off and do that. Um, some of this hardware is all cleaned up. So you saw the sway bar before, but all of this has been cleaned up as well. There are a few bits which are just rusted through. So I'm going to have to replace some, some of the thinner washers and things in there. But, um, you know, those, those are all cleaned up. So that's all done. Uh, it's bits ready for paint and bits just ready for me to go through and see what I need to buy. And we got here the um, struts and the dampers. So I'm trying to work out how to get these off. Now this one, oh, so this one has a eight-sided head. My 50 mil is six-sided. So although it might actually, well, it doesn't work. So I don't know how to get that off at the moment. Um, and I'm going to go and have a little look and a think. And then my other strut has a slightly different cap or well, capping nut on it. You can see and it's got these notches in. Now I've applied lots of WD-40 and stuff to it to hopefully loosen it up. And then I tried using a hammer and chisel to knock it out um, or to loosen it and ended up splitting that off. So again, I need to um, go away and sit down and think about how I'm going to do those, work out how I'm going to get them off um, before I start cleaning them all up. So... Um, yeah, another problem. That's right, we'll work through it. So we've got electricity. Coming down to a hidden battery charger. Coming across to my electrolysis bucket. Um, and what I have in there are the um, struts and dampers. I cannot get those dampers to budge at all. So um, what have I, I've um, tried penetrating oil, I've tried heat, I've had it in a vice to hold it steady and I've even, in a vice holding it steady, I've then used this over the, um, oh, over the um, bit that sticks out, uh, whatever it's called, the thingy bob, the huge my flippy, um, to get extra leverage, and I cannot budge it. So I figure it must be rust in there. I can't see it being anything else. So, uh, and it might be, but you know, we're going to start on the basis of rust. And so I'm hoping that this, since nothing else is working for me. If I leave it there for 24, 48 hours, we'll get a, the rust not only on the outside, but on the inside. And I don't know how well it's coming out in the video, but I've only just put it in and you can see it bubbling away. So it's having a good work on it. So um, we'll see how it goes. My um, other camera, I filmed, did some filming and I'm not sure, I can't get it onto the PC. So, um, just a overview really. We managed to get these apart. Here are the 
the dampers. Okay, so we got them apart in the end. Um, we had them in the bath overnight, uh, the electrolysis. Um, we then put on a lot of lubricant, penetration oil, and W and um, heat. And I think it was the heat in the end that finally got it off. So that's worked. We've then cleaned one of them up. We're about to clean up the other. So this is. Um, I'm going to do hammerite again, so direct to rust, so I was clean enough for that. Um, just here, I don't know if it comes out in the camera, I've got a little pinhole, and I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to do about that. I don't, I mean, it's whether or not it's good enough to use, or um, I buy a replacement. I don't intend to try welding that up, because it's on a thread. So... That'll just have to be as it is. Um, so we're going to clean up the other side now. And then we're going to start, we've got other things over here that need doing. Um, so we've got a bunch of, we've got the springs in here, the caps that go on the top of the springs, um, and we've got the discs and the hubs here. So I've got a go through clean all of those up as well so we're just working through stuff slowly we're creating a pile of bits here that need painting so I cleaned up the caps this afternoon so they weren't going nicely um, I cleaned up the trailing arms I think probably or swing arms anyway I cleaned these up although that's got some dirt on from there and I've cleaned up one of these, um, if it's chopped, I've cleaned up one of those. So I think I've got one of those two springs to go. Um, and I think I'll leave the um, discs until I come around to actually doing the discs and brakes. And I'll, I'll take the hubs out at that point, so I'll take it all off again and redo it. What else have I got in here? I've got two springs, I've got the other top. Oh, and I've got the um, brake plates, which I think would need replacing anyway. The dust plates. So, we're going to stop there for now, I think, and continue on tomorrow. I think I've now cleaned everything up. And so I have a nice pile of things that are going to require painting. Um, so these aren't in great condition to be honest, um, let's see, you can see here we've got a bit of a rust hole, this one's in slightly worse condition, you can see there. Um, so I might replace those, I um, don't intend to try patching them. Um, one of these, I don't know what these are called, but one of these, oh no, it was this. There we go, we've got a pinhole here by my thumb. It's a bit more than a pinhole. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that, whether or not I need to replace it or if it will go like that. So um, these are very hard to clean off, the springs. So they're just going to get, they've not been, I've not taken off as much rust as with everything else. Um, but we are doing direct rust paint, so that should be okay. I might actually rust convert these first. Um, I haven't decided yet. But that's done on this for today. We'll come back out tomorrow and do the painting. Hopefully. I need to be able to get that car out of the way so I've got space for it. And in order to do that, um, I don't know if I'll have done the video beforehand, but I need to sort out some fuel lines. So, I think that's everything I need to put the suspension and the wheels back on. Obviously, I need the um, the hubs as well. But uh, I don't think I need the steering rack, apart from if I want to be able to steer it. 
so I'm not worried about that. We're looking for straight in, straight out of the garage. Um, so next thing will be to work out which bits I'm missing in terms of bushes or washers or anything that's damaged and working through that to fix it. 